Welcome back to VTOP 10 and today's video we're counting down the 10 Felix Tito Trinidad best knockouts. Number 10. Tito Trinidad vs Troy Waters. On August 23, 1997, Trinidad beat Australian boxer Troy Waters by knockout at 250 in round 1 of 12 at Madison Square Garden, New York. There the right was window dressing, let's see if he can finish him off in the first round, Trinidad, pouring it on, a flash knockdown from a right, well, I'll tell you what, he goes down again, with 20 seconds to go, Five, six, seven, Trinidad, jumping eight, up on the turnbuckle, nine, ten. he's out, it's over, it's over, Number 9. Tito Trinidad vs. William Joppy. Following his fight with Vargas, Trinidad moved up in weight, Trinidad was matched with WBA champion Joppy, whom he defeated by technical knockout in the fifth round of a contest that took place on May 12, 2001 at Madison Square Garden, New York. Simple man, simple life, great boxing style, left hook, right cross. Joppa went down to the body. Number 8. Tito Trinidad vs. Freddie Pendleton. On May 18, 1996, Defending IBF welterweight title Trinidad beat Freddie Pendleton by knockout at 1.30 in round 5 of 12 at the Mirage Paradise, Nevada. Number 7. Tito Trinidad vs. Hossein Cherifi. On May 11, 2002, Trinidad beat Hossein Cherifi by TKO at 2.32 in round 4 of 10 at Roberto Clemente Coliseum San Juan Puerto Rico. Following this contest Trinidad announced his retirement, at the moment leaving the sport with a record of 41 wins, 1 defeat, and 34 wins by knockout. Number 6. Tito Trinidad vs. Anthony Stevens. On October 23, 1993, defending IBF welterweight title Trinidad beat Anthony Stevens by knockout at 2.09 in round 10 of 12 at Broward County Convention Center Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Number 5. Tito Trinidad vs. Hugo Pineda. On May 29, 1999, defending IBF welterweight title Trinidad beat Hugo Pineda by knockout at 2.53 in round 4 of 12 at Roberto Clemente Coliseum, 
San Juan, Puerto Rico. Stoking, straight right hand lands again. Can't just go straight in. Our experts that the uh, tallest measured welterweight of recent prominence was Maurice Blocker. 6-2. Left hook lands again for Trinidad. Brown whirls in appreciation. Missing with that left hook. Right uppercut landed. Left hook landed. Pineda taking these punches as well. But he's hanging in there while the crowd roars as though Tito has floored him twice. Number 4. Tito Trinidad vs. Fernando Vargas. On December 2, 2000, he was scheduled to fight in a unification card against Fernando Vargas, the International Boxing Federation's junior middleweight champion. Trinidad scored third knockdown in the eighth round which led to the referee stopping the fight by technical knockout. Trinidad, you gotta give him two extra points. And use. Big left. Amazing. 55-55. Three rounds apiece. Tito Trinidad definitely caught it. Florida talked it for five minutes and seconds left in the round now. They come down the stretch of the round and Vargas momentarily hurt. You want to make sure you throw up a cut you in the middle of the ring. A right hand from distance momentarily wobbles Vargas. Another combination. Three rounds to go. Harold both rounds were very close. Jim, there's no question out of the list four rounds. Tito Trinidad is with us. Must score a knockout or he's lost this fight. Courage. He's out of it. He can't see Trinidad. He's about to get knocked out. Fernando trying to survive. Fires a couple of punches. And holds on like a skilled veteran. He's a veteran. And that'll do it. The third. Number three. Tito Trinidad vs. Ricardo Mayorga. Trinidad announced a comeback on March 2, 2004. On October 2, 2004, he fought against Ricardo Mayorga in Madison Square Garden. Trinidad scored TKO at 2.39 in round 8 of 12 to 1 vacant NABC middleweight title. Not like this way he, he doesn't fight well. There's a body punch. punch. punch and comes back with an uppercut. But he's dead tight. Mayorga backing up, taking straight, ripping Mayorga. You cleft him. You can't. That body shot got a word. Mayorga. Oh, good oh, oh, oh. Big left hook. there he is. That could be the beginning of the year when the dad hits him flush with an uppercut. Oh, and that's it. Body. Desperate Ricardo Mayorga tries to unload the, the arsenal against Trinidad. Trinidad comes back. Fire up now. I told those body shots would do it, Jim. No three knockdown rule in effect. Another savage left hook by Trinidad. Mayorga goes down for the third time. Number two. Tito Trinidad versus Maurice Blocker. Trinidad traveled to San Diego, California and defeated the IBF welterweight champion Maurice Blocker by knockout at 149 in round 2 of 12 in a fight card on June 19, 1993 televised by Showtime. Blocker is showing signs of the worst. Yeah, because the last two have been big people. Knocked out his first five opponents after turning pro in 90 and nine of his first ten. Looking before five, he's not going to waste time. He just can't get, oh, another one right on the foot. Trinidad going upstairs and downstairs. Great left hook there by Trinidad, followed by a right. Locker in trouble again. Locker in big trouble now. Here comes again. Trinidad looking to finish. Locker off. Oh, what a right hand by Trinidad. Low punches. Blocker, three low punches. There's no quit in Blocker, though. He's throwing. He knows he's in trouble. He knows it's, it's almost over, and he is trying. Flipping up, and down goes Blocker. And when they fall face down, they don't get up, Bobby. You don't have to. Number one. Tito Trinidad versus Mahenge Zulu. On April 3, 1998, 
Defending IBF welterweight title Trinidad beat his number two challenger Mahenge Zulu by knockout at 220 in round four of 12 at Coliseo Ruben Rodriguez Bayamon Puerto Rico. The guy has a rematch. Football. Let's put double down below. Mix in jabs and uppercuts. Very, very edgy again. The left hook right off the top of the head of Zulu. A wild Zulu is in trouble. One of the ones we spoke of, left hook to the side, left hook up above. And the four. That's a paralyzing blow to the side. Left upper touch to the body by Trinidad. He's showing his entire repertoire now. He's throwing that left hook to the body beautifully. He's working off the right hand up top. There's a left hook. That one stunned him, and now comes Zulu. Flat on his back. That's it. Forget That's about it. it. Forget about it. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.